Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Tonight, what we're going to talk about is one of the ways that you can access your Synology remotely. So let's get over here and take a look at that. We are going to go to Control Panel, and we're going to look at the Quick Connect setup tonight. So we're going to go to Quick Connect, and what the Quick Connect service is, it is a conduit that allows you to access your Synology outside of your office, outside of your home remotely, anywhere where you're not on the same network without punching holes in your firewall, without doing any port forwarding, any DNAT, any of that stuff. Uh, so it is a really super useful tool. I love it. I use it all the time, especially if I don't want to open ports on a firewall why not use this service right so we're going to take a look at this it is fantastic if you haven't used it but you want to access your uh, Synology remotely this is this is good stuff so we're over here in the control panel and quick connect and we have to enable quick connect and then we have to agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy policy so we'll check that and if you don't have a Synology account, you need to go ahead and register one. So I don't have an account for this Synology. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click Create an Account. It's going to bring it up. It's going to ask us what kind of user we are. We're just going to fly through this. If you're a business user, by the way, look at these icons. Come on, Synology. Uh, you know, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, uh, so what I want to do is I'm just going to, for this, I'm going to choose home user. If you're a business, go ahead and fill out the business. So I'm going to click home user. I'm going to select, I'm in North America. I have read and accepted the, pri everybody and their brother, uh, we're all updating privacy policies right now. GDPR, just Google it, the world's melting down. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out real quick. And they have, you know, special uh, password um, rules. They want you to have a very difficult to guess or hack password. So they want you to have uppercase, lowercase. They don't want you to use sequentials. It has to be at least eight characters. So I have a password that I've selected. I'm going to paste it in here, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, I got the little green check mark. So let's click next. Oh, now it's telling me that use a mix of alphanumeric characters. I this thing. The passwords are very, very secure. So I'm going to choose another password. Um, and you may you may have some issues here, but we'll thank Synology for making us have strong passwords. Thank you, Synology. Okay, so after you fill out your email address and your phone number and your real address and all that stuff, then it comes over here and it asks us which uh, news categories we'd like to receive. So I just want to receive absolutely everything. I'm going to check that I'm not a robot, and then I'm going to hit Submit. Now, what Synology is going to do now is they are going to send an activation email, like so many other services do, to my email address. I'm going to go ahead and activate that, and now we're going to have a valid Synology account. So I will be back as soon as I have that done. Okay, so my account is now activated, and I should log in and I'm going to log in uh, after we do this and we're going to enable two-factor authentication so Synology does have two-factor authentication on their accounts go in there enable it make sure you're using Google Authenticator um, you will thank you will thank us later for that so uh, right now in the world without two-factor authentication it's not if you're going to be hacked it's when you're going to be hacked or compromised if two-factor authentication is available, use it. Do yourself a favor and use two-factor authentication. So I'm going to go in and turn that on after this demo. So what we're going to do is we are going to do enable quick connect. We're going to check to agree. We're going to log into. And now it's going to ask us what the account is.
and we're going to say I'm not a robot and then sign in and what this is going to do is going to sign our sign us into our Synology account on this device and it's going to allow us to create this uh, quick connect ID so as soon as this quits spinning I, I think there's some internet things happening uh, some outages and things like that I've noticed things have been a little a little slow okay so now you can see we are signed into our Synology account and so what I'm going to do here is for the quick connect ID I am going to call this H5 DS 218 and I'm going to apply that and assuming that no one else has taken H5 DS 218 that is going to be my quick connect so there it is there's my quick connect ID and it also tells you how to get to DSM so you'll see here this doesn't say HTTPS but we are going to always use HTTPS so the link that we're going to use is going to be HTTPS colon slash slash h5ds218.quickconnect.2 so if I take this and send it to somebody they're gonna they're gonna get a login and so let's uh, let's try that out real quick all right so I was using Firefox in the last part so what I did was I opened up Internet Explorer and we are going to paste our quick connect address in there and you're gonna see it's gonna go out and, uh, and I'm using Internet Explorer so we could have some funny things happening but yes we're gonna proceed so you can see that we're going to this URL now it may if you're inside the network it may redirect you to the IP address in this case it doesn't look like it's gonna do that but what will happen is now we have a login and so now we can actually go ahead and log into this and I can log into this from anywhere using this then any of the apps that are available for Android or iOS you can use your quick connect your uh, the first part of your quick connect to use you know configure the phone apps to connect directly to your Synology so and this is a much in my opinion a much better way you know it's it does cause a little bit of a slowdown but you don't have to open any ports in your firewall now we are gonna go how to over how to open those ports and do SSL certificates and those kinds of things but I wanted to show you this first because this is super easy you don't have to do anything with your firewall you don't have to do anything with your SSL certificate if you want to access this from you know the outside so it's and it's provided free by Synology it's just a conduit um, to get you to your device it, it's fantastic so you should definitely check this out I'm gonna close this Internet Explorer browser and go back over here and so anytime you have an app that is asking for the quick connect ID and I'm gonna actually let me see if I can pull something up here real quick alright so we're over here at the Google Play Store and I just did a search for DS file and it tells us it's by Synology but any of these apps and you can see what this looks like you can access all the files on your Synology you can uh, stream video from it music all those good things but you can use that quick connect ID so that you don't have to punch the holes in your firewall they also have DS photo and we're gonna do we're gonna do an overview of these these apps they've got the DS video DS audio there are all kinds you've got Synology Drive um, DS get which allows you to, to download things to your Synology uh, I mean they have all kinds of of apps and to make your life super duper easy and there's a few more of them that we're gonna talk about in the coming days this app also exists if you're an iPhone user uh, or an iPad user you can go out to the Apple App Store and grab that as well 
So that does it for this video on the Quick Connect. Now, like I said, we are going to circle back. We're going to do, you know, how to put SSL certificates on here. We're going to deal with, you know, the port forwarding and all those kinds of things and those best practices. But the Quick Connect can get you up and going in just a matter of minutes and you don't have to mess with your router. It's fantastic. So if you aren't using it, check it out and it will just it'll open up your Synology and you'll be able to do so many more things with it like constantly back up photos from your phone all kinds of good stuff so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please copy and share please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you need network consulting security consulting voice over IP consulting storage consulting uh, specifically Synology or any other type of IT consulting please go to h5llc.com and reach out. We also have a Discord channel. Feel free to come on over there and ask questions. Charlie is our admin. He does a fantastic job. That link is down there as well. And if you're interested in purchasing a Synology unit or any of the other gear you see featured here on the channel, we do have an Amazon shop. That link is down there below. And as always, I want to thank you again, and we'll see you in the next video.